separating these while I was waiting. Um, so we can do a quick run through the major arcana and the fool's journey, and then we will do, I brought my journal so that you guys could see it, and we will do um, Q&A and be done by eight. Then I'd like to go live if anyone's around, just because I haven't been on all week. I kept getting a hard nose. So I was just being patient and waiting. Let's see here. Okay. So I saw Auntie Lynn's note. Trash that. What's going on with Facebook? Man, next time we do this, I'm not doing Facebook. I don't really actually like Facebook that much. It's not that easy to use. Well, but anyway, if you are in the bleachers, I am separating these into suits and the major arcana so that we can go through the major arcana, the differences, and the fool's journey. I have not posted my journal. Um, someone had asked about that last week, so I brought it with me, and I will be more than happy. I also took a picture or pictures of the pages that I used um, that you can grab too. I'll put them on the Tarot Time group page so that way you can just have them or whatever. There's a lot of good ones on um, Pinterest too. I'm gonna try to do it through. So if Instagram doesn't work, then we're just gonna stick with the, oh, it's working. Oh, um, it's looking at my books. All right, so if Insta doesn't work, it's saying I have a poor connection. Oh, I wonder if I... Um, Queen of Swords, the Emperor. If you're in the bleachers, I'll just check it one more time as soon as I get done with this to make sure you guys are there. Oh, hello, hello, you guys. Um, if you're in the bleachers, I can't see you, but, oh good, okay, good, welcome, welcome. I see comments. So if someone's in there that's a regular, can you answer questions for me since I can't see it, please? Okay, welcome everyone. Tonight we are going to go through the Fool's Journey and the Major and Minor Arcana. If you're on Insta and you'd rather watch it from the Bleach Review, um, you can go to YouTube. It's streaming live on YouTube and it's just the table view. That might be easier. So, I also brought my cheat sheet. Yeah, if you're down here, I feel like you should just go to YouTube. But okay, welcome. Okay, so from the bleachers, you can see this. If you're here, this is, I'll explain it all in case you're driving or whatever. So we have four suits. It's just like a regular deck of cards um, with ace, spades, hearts, diamonds. Ace, spades, diamonds, hearts, okay. So it was created off of that. We have the wands. The wands are, our fire signs. So wands, and here's a cheat sheet if you guys want to, you don't have, you can write this down if you want, but I can post it for you too. Um, wands are fire and spiritual. So they're fast. Fire is in action and it's fast. It's also rejuvenating. Then we have cups. Cups are your emotions in water. So this is listening to, these are the cups. And it's listening to your intuition. Um, cups are also emotional. They can be 
Well, they can just be an emotional card. Um, swords are not. <laughs> swords are your thinking brain. So swords are also um, a make plan and a think. This is also the internet because it goes through the internet. But they are not quite as emotional as cups. Oh, and the astrology that goes along with this, any water sign. So if you have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you're a cups sign. If you are a wands, then you're fire. So that's like Aries, Gemini. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not Gemini. Um, Sagittarius, Leo and Aries. If you are a sword, then you are air. And air are intellectual. They're very, a lot of um, engineers. They're critical. Or they think with their minds, not with their hearts. That is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And pentacles are anything that has to do with your schedule, anything physical. So the pentacles are earth signs, and that's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. But let me tell you who you won't see <laughs> burning stuff up. In our cases, you are <laughs> not going to see an earth sign there. Actually, we haven't seen water or earth, but we have seen a lot of air and fire. Um, the earth signs are common sense. So this is anything. Where are my pentacles? Anything that has to do with money, routine, day-to-day -day life, you never want to see your pentacles in reverse. I also have a cheat sheet. I have a different one that I can post, but it's the beginning, or it's the numbers. If you can, for homework tonight, if you memorize the suits, and their astrology sign. So wands are fire, cups are water, swords are air, pentacles are earth. And begin learning the numbers, you'll be good. If you know the numbers, that's pretty much the most important part in my personal opinion. Um, and we can go through what each one means. Aces are always a new beginning, no matter what, that's a new beginning. Twos are balance and as you find other words, write them in here. And when you're reading, you can just trust your gut. So the new aces, new beginnings, twos, balance, choice, partnership, flow, duplicity, threes, initial achievement, growth, change, choices. I also use threes as the perfect trinity. Fours are stability, that's your foundation. Um, it can also mean staying still. It's a structure. So inside your four walls, you can build your home. Fives are change. Fives are always instability. In my experience, I'm sure that there are other people. If you have other things, please add them. Um, it's change. You've worked this hard. Things have to expand. So you're growing. Um, can be conflicts. Sixes are relaxation, adjustment, memories, the past, and precarious. Sevens are reflection, discovery. They're also almost an eight, which is almost a four, the infinity, but it's not there yet. You have a few more things to do. This is completion. No, I would not count that. Um, it can be a discovery and knowledge too. Eight is recognition. So it's a, um, the infinity sign. So it's a very strong foundation. It can be recognition. Um, these are also not, this is not what I would use today. It says movement, action, change, and move. No, I wouldn't use these today, but it can change. I mean, I have this one too. Oh, I have a few of them. I just use them as I go. Nines are almost completion. It's not a full completion yet. It's almost there. You're almost done with the project that you started working on, but you're not quite there yet. Um, 10 is a completion. So pretend you're in second grade and you completed it. Now you're in third grade or 10th grade or whatever. It's like you're done with that project, with that grade, with that level, and you get to go to the next one. 
It can also be abundance, endings, exits, but it's not usually a bad ending. Pages are any page. So this, these numbers, ace through king, can be for any um, suit. It doesn't really matter. What it just depends on is if you had a page of pentacles, for example, he's a slow moving page. He, he delivers the news, but he also probably somebody got paid. So I usually think of pages as, well, they're messengers, if you think back in the olden days. So a page is a passive card. I don't know how accurate this is because, yeah, I guess it is. There, it's passive on the pentacles. Then we have knight. That's active, always. Knights are running in. That can also be the ages of teenagers through mid-20s. Queens are a passive card. They are not usually going into battle. They are nurturing, very kind, unless they're upset in reverse. And then we have kings, and they're active. They implement things. And I really want to ask you if you have any questions, but I can't see any of the comments. So if you do, please hold them and jot them down so that we can go through questions together. And if you are in the balcony and you are a regular, can you be the bouncer for me and just, or jot them down and, or, te oh, you can't text me. Um, this is a super high level overview because what I also want to do tonight is go through the major arcana cards. So this, oh, here's the um, cheat sheet. And I can leave this here if you're in the, sorry about you guys on the Facebook. If you can't see this, like I said, if you just go to YouTube, they're in the bleachers. That's what I call the table view. And I'll leave this here for you guys so you can see it as I go through the major arcana. The difference between the major arcana and, I don't know, <laughs> and the minor arcana are, the major arcana are 22, well, this says 21. I think I'm missing one. They are the major events that are happening in your life. And the reason I wanna show you guys the fool's journey is because through your life, you, go through each one of these initiations, allegedly. Um, like you're born and then you, this says die, but that can just be change. Um, and another book that I want to recommend, I haven't used this one to study with, but I brought it so I could show it to you guys, is this tarot book. It was on sale at, there you go, bleachers. Um, it was on sale and it's perfect for learning. I can leave this open for you guys too. I don't know how much of it you'll be able to see, but or I can do it as we go through it. So as I get this stuff organized, I want to explain more in depth what each of these cards mean and why it's a wheel. If you have been following I hope you can see that, our Idaho case or even Delphi, they show us um, the wheel a lot. And that's also because it's a cycle. It's kind of like the 10, um, oh, here's a pentacle. All right, I'll get these in order after. So the first thing that we have, I'll do these as I'm explaining it, is we have our little fool. This is a new beginning here. If you guys can read, oh, here. Hopefully you can see this. I'll turn it for you so you can see it. And if you can't read my handwriting, just Google it and I'll post these. So you have the fool. The fool is the new beginning. So this is a fresh start. It doesn't mean what American fool means. It's an old English fool. So this is, I mean, look at this little guy. He's so excited. He's starting his journey, all he has is a pack, his little dogs with him. You can see it, there's lots of symbolism in each of these cards. That's one class I would love to go through and do it on like a Venma or a Zoom atmosphere so everyone can mention their own, 
like every time I see it, I see something new. So we have our little fool and he's starting off on his journey. If you're down here, hi, welcome. If you can't see, please go to YouTube. It's live and you're in the bleachers. So our little fool is starting off. And then we meet the magician. And this is also the, re I don't know how I thought of this or what happened, but as soon as it was in a circle, all of a sudden it all made sense to me. So then we have the magician. The magician is like skills manifesting. He has everything that he needs within him. So we have the cups, the swords, the wands, the pentacles. This is also as above, so below. And it's also a gentle, re gentle reminder that everything that you need is within you. It's inside of you. This is the second grade. Some people see that read, I mean, however you read your tarot cards, there's not a wrong way to read them. I read this as a second grader because he's only the second step in the fool's journey. Some people see it as like a master, I mean, it is a master card. To me also, it can represent smoke and mirrors. Not always, but it can. So the next guy on our journey, is the high priestess. Well, she's a girl. She's your ride or die. You want her next to you and definitely upright. If she falls like this and it's a stressful situation, you're all set. She will literally help you bury a body and take it with you or take the secret to the grave. Um, this is your wisdom, intuition. So you're here on earth and you have all the tools you need. You have your intuition. Oh, someone will know if I could read the comments. It's um, Boaz and Shavriel. I don't know the he old Hebrew names, but these are old Hebrew. After the high priestess, you meet your mom. So we're going to find the empress. There's your mother. She's the empress. The empress is... Well, this is the Venus Earth, like um, birthing new, something new. And she, you can read it right here and cheat sheet. She's connecting mind and body. She's a nurturer and a mother. So you're a little baby. You have everything you need. Your intuition is saying, I need to have my diaper changed or I'm hungry. Your mom comes and she helps you. And then we have the emperor. The emperor is your dad. Or, yeah, I guess... It would have to be some kind of a male. Um, he's, your, it's a father figure. So he's an authority. He's also an Aries sign. And the reason I know this is because in the Idaho 4 case, we got to study all of the Aries sign, or all of the fire signs. So that's something that we can learn later about each of the major arcana and their fire sign, or their elements. Uh, we're not going to go through it tonight. And the only reason I know that is because we had to figure out who an Aries was. So next, we're going to meet the church. And remember, this was done back in the 1500s when the church you met your dad and then you met your priest. <laughs> so we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is also an authoritative figure. It's also tradition. So he... I know there's someone in here who, it, to me, it reminds me of the Catholic Church in the sense of, well, I mean, there's two bald guys right on it. So it's a power. It, to me, it, it reminds me of Prince uh, King Charles and the English church, any church head. But back in the 17 or 15, 1300s, I found something that said these were really around in the 1100s and they were illegal in France. So that's why it went underground because um, they weren't allowed, like peasants weren't allowed to play cards. Uh, I think on Friday they could or something, but that was in the 1100s. So after you meet your priest, then we are going to fall in love and we have our lovers. Hey guys, if you're joining um, on Insta or Facebook and you can't see it and you wanna see the cards, if you jump over to YouTube, you have the bleacher sheet seats. So they're in the bleachers. That's what I always call it. Um, if you can't see, just so you know. After the Hierophant, you find love. You're in high school. 
young love. You don't know any better, so you, <laughs> you love way too much. Um, this is also self-love, passion. I always think of high school love. Like partnership, to me, it just reminds me of a high school boyfriend, just like, or girlfriend or whatever. Someone that you loved a lot. And it was your first experience with love after you met your parents and the people like that that were in your life. Then you begin to learn how to drive. And, or back in the day, <laughs> I guess you could take your chariot. So because this is Old English, after you meet your high school girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, then you start driving. That's the chariot. The chariot in the Rider Waite is a solitary card. This, the chariot in the King of Thrones is an action card. So as long as, don't let that confuse you. Sorry, that was probably confusing that I just said that, but I guess it doesn't matter. For beginners, this is another question I got a few times. I will explain that as soon as we go around the thing. I'm going to put one right here so I don't forget to explain it. Okay, after you learn how to drive, then you realize just how strong you really are. That's the strength card. She is taming a lion, and you're learning, like, about the world and... Hopefully you have a strong foundation, your parents, you learned your lessons and because you're getting ready to go out into the world. Um, this is also control, like, and she also has an infinity sign on her. So if you're in the bleachers. Hi, everyone. Welcome. If you've been here for a while and you're sick of me saying it, I apologize, but I can't read any of the comments. If you are on Insta or Facebook and you want to watch it from the top, the bleacher view um just jump on over to youtube and it's up there okay after we have strength because we're getting ready to go out into the world we have the hermit i absolutely love getting the hermit the hermit is to me shining light into the darkness he's also introspective he's going inside when you're doing a reading we're not going to go through this today in the sense of a reading, but I always look at where, who's next to him, like which card is right here because he's shining light. That's the way I interpret interpret. The hermit's um, an introspective card. He's a sage. He's super smart. And he also, I just love, I love getting him. He's just like a solid card. He's probably an earth sign. <laughs> yeah, he's a Virgo. <laughs> Shocker. Um, so then we, as we are growing up, we're leaving the house, we are going to spin the wheel of fortune. Should we go to college? Should we stay home? Should we do something else that involves being brave? To me also, because of the Idaho four case, I read circles as also completions. I don't know if everyone does. Like I said, there are no terror police. You can do it however you want. I also just would recommend doing it intuitively, but um, you're spinning the wheel because now you, I just have to move these bleachers. I'll leave this here so you can still see it, hopefully. Um, here's our wheel of fortune. You're spinning the wheel. You're hoping that you are making all the right decisions. After you are spinning the wheel, you might have gotten yourself into a little bit of trouble. We have the justice card. Just, oh, here you go, bleachers. Oh, I might have to, oh, I can put this in the center for right now so you can still see it. Um, perhaps you got in a little trouble. You have to go see the judge. Justice is like fair treatment. This is a universal karmic law. It doesn't matter. This is like a, kind of like a karmic law or gravity is one of the examples I always use. It doesn't matter how nice you are. If you walk off of a bridge, you're gonna fall. Justice is the same way. It always comes back because it has to balance the wheels. I'm sorry, balance the, <laughs> what is this? Scales. <laughs> you have to balance the scales of justice. Okay, then we have the hangman. The hanged man is literally hanging around and to me, this is also represented um, 
like an abusive relationship because he has no, I know some people have a really nice way of saying all of this and that's nice, but he has no free will. So he's trying to get a new perspective, but he's also tied up against his will. So to me, this is a warning card. If I see it in like a reading about love or something and the, re and only if it's around other cards that are, don't have free will, it's not a loan, a trigger, like a, a warning card, but when it's with others, I just, just take a note of it. But the nice way to explain it is um, the hanged man is sacrificed. He's waiting. He's trying to see things from a new perspective. That's like a nice, that's not the way I usually see it, but you can read it. Like I said, however you want. Then we have death. People freak out if they see this and they don't know how to read cards. And it doesn't mean anything except change or an ending. Um, it looks pretty literal, but oh, I guess I don't have to be standing. <laughs> it's a little aggressive. Um, death is just an ending. It doesn't mean death. Unless you're talking about the Idaho 4 case, then <laughs> all bets are off. But death is an ending. It's a change, a transformation. So maybe you graduated college. So you have a change coming. It could be like um, maybe the person, if you're doing a reading and they don't know a change is coming, maybe jobs coming uh, coming to an end or a relationship, or maybe they know. And sorry, bleachers, I'm going to have to move your cheat sheet so you can still see this. After death, we have temperance. Temperance is an angelic card. She is, hello everyone. Welcome. If you are new in the Facebook or Insta and you want to see the cards, if you could just jump on YouTube, then you can have the leecher seats. So temperance is an angelic card. This is like, okay, college came to an end and now you are this also, well, I'll explain the, what else it can mean later, but this is one foot in, one foot out. It's decision time, contemplation, cups are your emotions. So look inside. To me, this is also can be a symbolism of alcoholism. I have no idea where I learned it, but it's always just in the back of your mind if someone's dealing with an addiction or it's not to the point that their family's hmm, talking to them yet. Perhaps they're drinking a little too much. Um, it's also like your willpower, inner strength. After temperance, we have the devil. <laughs> the nicest thing that I can say about El Diablo is he's a Capricorn, and so am I. I used to like make this joke that he likes cold things, but that's not as funny anymore after our Idaho 4 case. So the devil is definitely addiction to me. Definitely addictions, definitely overindulgence. This is also a no free will. These two lovers are tied to each other and to him. They are also here are lovers. There's really cool symbolism. It's not this card actually, but regardless, anytime you see El Diablo, especially upright, if you guys watch Famous Fortunes, he's another YouTube, he is a tarot card, he's hilarious. He um, calls it the devil swear jar every time he gets this. I think they made like three grand last year. They donated it to charity. Man, so devil's definitely addiction, definitely overindulgence. Um, so if you're pretending that we're our little fool, he left home, he went to college, he might have gotten in trouble with the law. Who knows? Then he leaves college and now he's starting his addiction. <laughs> if you're going by like 99% of, well, whatever. Um, so then we have the tower. To me, the tower is done, done, no turning back. I mean, for me, if you just think of 9-11 when towers fell, it's like the end. It's over. Game over. Done. This can be a symbol. This won't be tonight. Actually, this won't be any time. Maybe we'll do a level two to see other stuff on the cards. But I have heard a um, reader use 
this isn't the example. I don't know if it actually happened, but the guy got the tower the night before he won the lottery. So his world as he knew it was coming down. It's like the nicest, nicest thing I could possibly think of. And I've never actually got to use it in an ex example like that. So. Um, so now perhaps your addiction is taking over. You got married to the wrong person because you weren't following your heart. Your world is falling apart as you know it. After we have the tower, we have the star. Where's our star? Here's our star. The star, to me, can also be an addiction card. Um, he's in the stars. Like I said, however you read your tarot cards is fine. I honestly could care less. Um, but that's just how I've read it in the past. The star also, without that, is like hope. So if you... Perhaps you did just blow your life up because you were spending too much time with whatever. Um, the star can be hope. It's also in reference to our Idaho case. It was very symbolic of putting the stars out, like the mother who put the star out. Then we have the moon. The moon is secrets, 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 and you're not gonna find them. This is, um, unless it's in reverse, these are secrets you're never gonna find out. Um, it's also emotional turmoil. Oh, sorry, okay, good. I hope someone's regulating the comments up there. Um, the moon's secret, oh, this is what I wanted to show you. Where is the other one? Oh, okay, no, I'll find it. These, Pillars are also on another card. And if I could see the comments, I don't know if someone knows it. But it, right now I can't remember it. But that's some like fun thing. If you're reading them and you see like the pill, I know they're on, oh, here they are. They're on death. So the pillar, if you got these two cards, we won't go through a reading, but the moon and death, you have something secrets and something's coming to an end. Maybe an affair or something, I have no idea. We also won't go through the health reading tonight. That'll be down the road, but these cards also, not all the me, yeah. Like air is, uh, or the earth is your bones. So if you're doing a health reading for someone, I'll show you that next time. Uh, no, 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 it'll probably be <laughs> level two. So after the moon, we have the sun. So the sun is coming out. This is new beginnings, um, joy, enlightenment, happy. You really want to see the sun, especially after you blew your life up. You might have gotten a divorce. Who knows what you did to yourself? Um, the sun is hope. Then we have judgment. And this is like um, in biblical. Isn't it Jesus that says something only you can judge yourself? So this is like an evaluation. You're looking back, perhaps you've lived your college years, your 20s, your 30s, maybe now you're in your 40s. I'm just totally making those ages up. It doesn't matter. But you're, you're reflecting on your life, how far you've come, what you'd still like to do. Hello, everyone down there. Welcome. If you are new to Insta or Facebook and you want to see the cards, please jump over to YouTube. I can't read any of the comments, but I just saw someone come in and welcome. But if you'd like to see the cards, it's on YouTube. They're in the bleachers. Um, so this is a self-reflecting. It's It could be a retirement card. You've met, arrived, you've made it, you get to reflect on your life. And then if you're in the bleachers, this will make a lot more sense. You have the world. The world is an ending. It's done. Um, it's a completion, an ending. It's a full circle. And then you get to start the hero's journey all over again. So if you're in the bleachers, and I'm sorry if you guys can't see these, but we just went around the wheel of the fool's journey. And this is in like every movie, the fool's journey. It's like, you know, when they're introducing a movie, you get to meet the family. Well, especially Hallmark, then they're gonna fall in love. Let's not use Hallmark. <laughs> But the fool's journey or the um, hero's journey is like what every movie or book are based on. And that's this right here, the major arcana and the tarot cards. 
So that's why I really wanted to show you that. How are we doing on time? Oh, good. We have 20 more minutes. So with that, I, I know there are questions um, in the bleachers, but I can't see them. So, oh, this is what I wanted to show you. I'll leave these out. I had a few questions on what you guys would recommend for beginner cards. These are on Amazon. They're probably like 10 bucks. They are literally called, I think they're Rider Waite um, beginner tarot cards or something. Highly recommend them. I love them. And if you're well, learning, it is so much easier. I'll read one of the major arcanas, arcanas to you, the Emperor. So if you are learning, highly recommend getting a beginner deck. You can get them on Amazon or you could do it on Etsy or something. And what they have, so here's the Emperor and here's our Emperor. And it tells you, so the Emperor upright is protection, authority, but see how it's telling you all this stuff? Um, it's also a fire sign. It's maybe. I don't read the cards. The, I just do upright yes, reversals no, two out of five. I um, mean, then best two out of three. I pull five cards. Then um, it also tells you the numerology. I know there's someone in YouTube on our YouTube group that is a numerology queen or king. Feel free to jump in. Um, the other thing I've learned with these is that analytical thinkers like engineers love, if you're doing a reading like with them, they love to be able to read them with you. No one else except for analytical thinkers, in my experience, have cared. But it's nice to do it with them if they care, then they can read it. So that's my advice. Well, that's a high rec. That's what I would get as a beginner. I mean, you can start with these ones, and that's fine, but it's there's a lot to remember. We can go through, um, I will clean these up. I will sh walk through a few of these, my tarot journal that I, I don't even like the word journal. It's just like a cheat sheet that I used as I was memorizing them. Um, the main thing to remember when you're learning tarot is to be really patient with yourself. It is a lot of information and that's it. There's no easy way around it. Um, we can start, we already did that. You guys don't need to know the planets yet. We'll go through that, probably not this round, but. Um, so this is one of the ways that I set it up. So you have your cups. You have your pentacles, you have your wands, and you have your swords. If you're in the bleachers, hopefully, you have your cups, your pentacles, your wands, and your swords. The way that I used this was this was like the master template, and then I would just memorize it. Like I would jot it down on a scrap piece of paper and just write it until I... It depends on how you learn, too. Some people might, if you have a photographic memory, you might not have to bother doing any of that. But that's how I learned it. So your element, the elements are um, also tied in with your astrology. So that's why whenever I'm doing a reading and I say, does anyone know his birthday or her birthday? It may be a lot of wands are coming up. Wands are fire. So you can guess that it's like a fire sign, which if they're blowing stuff up, the odds are pretty high. <laughs> Fire, uh, Aries, for example, are the spark. They don't burn the whole forest down, but they start the fire. So then we have the, so it's the um, suit, that's cups. Then we have the element, the element's water. We have the time. This is not um, something you have to think about with tarot, but I was learning it for another class I was taking. That's dusk and autumn. Actually, you might find that helpful if you're doing a time thing. The planet is the moon, Neptune, and Pluto. And that's what the beginner cards have on here. Um, it will tell you, oh, not these ones. I have a couple of sets of these, but it can tell you. And 
I know there's a person in here who's really good with the planets too. Feel free to jump in. Um, the day of the week is a Monday and they're queen cards. So as I was learning, I you'll see, I'll post these pictures for you guys. I made about four of these cheat sheets because I was learning and I needed to know other things like on this one, I was learning the directions. So how did these suits play into, like this is, so, this is actually embarrassing. I'm showing humans this, but it's um, west, south, east, north. So you have your cups are the west, your wands are south, swords are east, and pentacles are north. It's also how I call in my angels. I, I think I posted or will post. I also say a prayer before I read for truth and guidance. Highly recommend it. Um, these This next round of notes has to do with the one through 10 of each of these suits. So the ace of cups is emotional growth or a new baby. Um, the ace of swords is new focus, new ideas, and surgery. Can you guys see that? Um, the ace of pentacles is new money, a raise, or a promotion. The ace of fire of wands is new energy. So, well, it's, to me, it's the spark. But anyway, that's, you'll see these. I'm going to post them for you if you're not in the bleachers. And welcome. Thank you so much for coming. If you're new to the Facebook or Insta and you'd like to see the bleachers, um, if you jump over to YouTube, you can see it. So that being said, um, we actually can't do a question and answer because I can't see any of the questions. So I will... Uh, let's, I'm trying to think of what the best use of our time is. Well, we're almost done. Um, then the next thing in my little journal, or it, I don't even like to, this is just like a master cheat sheet. So the way I remember stuff is I read it, write it a million times. Um, I also practice shuffling every single day. Like when I was sitting at my desk or whatever I was doing, because I didn't know how to shuffle. And I know some people shuffle these like they would a regular card deck, but these guys have been through a lot and they've taken us very far. So, I mean, look at them. So I don't shuffle in that way. So I just would learn how to shuffle every day. I just do a couple minutes, well, 45. <laughs> then I also, the next thing in this little cheat sheet was the major arcana. So, I put the number down, so a zero is in beginning. So that's also with tens, it's an ending. Um, this guy is a, the fool. And then I wrote down everything. There's no one place that I would recommend getting the information. I mean, if you have a book, please, by all means. Um, I didn't get this book until recently. And if it's not in your budget, don't worry about it. It's all over the internet. and. Um, What's his name? Ariel Gotoa, get Toga, is an awesome teacher. I highly recommend him. He's on YouTube and he has the best voice. I love him. Um, so if you're learning and you don't have the resources to get a book, don't worry about it. So that's how I would do it. Then I wrote down like in the order that they go in around the fool's journey. It's a lot easier when you're in a reading to have these foundations of the um, the suits, the astrology sign, the element that go with them. And then, so what they do, so earth is the foundation. Then you have water, water flows on top of earth. Then you have a fire gets started and the air blows it around. That, however you wanna remember it too. There's no wrong way to do that either. Um, and while you're learning, just be really, really patient with yourself. There's no, like I said, and the cards are never wrong. 
it's the reader that's wrong. So if you're missing readings, like something big, I mean, uh, then I'd go back to the basics. What did I miss or what am I missing in this reading? Because the cards are never wrong. It's the person. That's how I was taught. Sure, everyone has their own way of looking at it, but that's just what I was taught. So after you get through the major arcana, it's probably learning some more of the suits. This looks like, oh, this is a little bit more complicated. We're not going to get into this, but we have cups. And so you go through like the king, like we'll go through the king, through queen, knight, page. And the cups are air of water for the king. That's going to be really confusing and you don't have to worry about it yet. Just know that there's more coming after you've memorized those. Then I did a cheat sheet. Now this is just cups. It's cups upright and cups in reverse. So one of the cheat sheets that I brought over here, this is the four suits in reverse. Oh, I don't have the upright here. But I brought this, I have it, oh. So as you're learning or you're learning new things, like when I was watching Famous Fortunes the other day, I learned something new. This is a cheat sheet that has all for upright, all for reversed, and then the major arcana, which looks really overwhelming when you're looking at it like this. I don't remember why I built that or this one. I was learning something. So... Just be really, and my other um, advice is to be super, super flexible. Like if you hear the Eight of Swords is a black magic card. I was open-minded to hearing that because I hadn't heard it before and you might see it and <laughs> need to know that. So here's our cups upright and in reverse. Um, the cup signs. I wonder if I was learning, I don't know what I was learning, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to need this stuff too. Then, oh, I'm not. <laughs> then we have wands and that's in upright and in reverse for um, ace through the king. A trick to, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're almost done. A trick to remember, um, the pages are like, here's a page. It can be a symbolism of a child, like a kid or um, eight, nine, ten year old, like a page symbolically. And then you have the um, knights that can be teenagers. They can be known to be a little bit reckless. Um, they are running and like the, knight, the knight of swords already has a sword drawn and he's running. Oh, here you guys. He's running right in. Um, then we have the knight. Then we have the queen. The queen's a badass. She's just awesome. Um, as long as they're upright, they're, it reminds me of Queen Elizabeth, especially the um, queen of pentacles. She's just like good with her money, good with her. What is it? What do they have like land? Their people. Um, and then you have the king. And the king, if he was born, most of them were. But back in those days, they would fight for the king. I mean, the Game of Thrones. So you can just remember it that way. Knights, um, sorry, pages can be kids or young, under 10. Just under 10 is a good way to think of it. Then you have knights that can be your teenagers. Then you have the queen. She, to me, she reminds me of an older woman, like um, Queen Elizabeth. And then the king, nowadays they just inherit the throne. But back when they were creating these, they would kill people for it, yada, yada. Um, so those are some tricks with that. And for anyone, I will, I will um, put these into a PDF and put them on the Tarot Time Facebook group so you guys can just download them, print them, whatever you want to do with them. Let me just make sure... Yeah, this, and then it's broken up into the major arcana. 
What I don't have in here though, and I will either find or recommend, is I have wands. These were probably the two I was having the hardest time remembering. Wands and cups. I would recommend doing one of these for wands, cups, um, swords, and pentacles. I'm just guessing the only reason I have these is because those were the ones I was having a hard time memorizing. So I love you all very much. Thank you so much for coming. If you're in the bleachers, I'm not going to turn you guys off yet. I am going to stay live. I'll ask or answer questions. I can probably turn this on so I can read the questions and then answer you guys. If you are on Facebook or Insta, thank you so much for coming. Week two, I would really just count that as week one. Next week is Christmas. If you celebrate, Merry Christmas. Um, the following week is New Year's and we are gonna switch the night to Monday. I will update the calendar either Monday or Wednesday. I'll check the schedule, see what everyone can do. Tuesdays are out for me. So with that, if you're on Insta or Facebook, thank you so much for coming. I love you and I will see you next time. Ah, thank you. And if you are in the bleachers, hang tight. I'm gonna turn this off. In.